is Hannah, and sadly we originally found her abandoned. We saw her like this when we drove by a shelter, so we knew that we couldn't leave her there. So we posted a video of her, and several of you guys came through and said that you could adopt her, which is amazing. But we need to make sure that she goes to a safe place. What we are planning on doing is showing everybody who is interested in adopting Hannah, and we're going to have you guys vote based upon our conversations with them and their profiles to figure out what will be the best place for her. We'll take them to meet her and then we will see if it's a good fit for her based upon what you guys decide. So we are currently on our way to Hannah right now because there was so many of you amazing people that were talking about wanting to adopt her. So we're about to go get her now and see what's going on and see what we can do about getting her to one of you guys. You can never not have to get ready. When it comes to when it comes to saving animals, you always have to get ready. There is no kid. Said that she was chipped that her owners. You said sometimes you people don't update their information microchip wise. Right. So we'll reach out, like address, we'll send letters, we'll email, uh, we'll call, but even then, if they don't answer or we can't get a hold of them or if they've moved and changed all their information, then we just can't get a hold of them. Yeah, she's really calm. I mean, in the short time that I had, we got her calling her up. When you did, um, when you, you just found her and you bring her home. So now's the perfect time to tell the story of how we met Hannah. We were driving around doing errands. And then Kelly was just like, oh my God, there's a dog. So then we pulled in over here and then we came in and right here was where it all began. Hannah was running around right there. I saw another lady walking by her. I mouthed to her, is this your dog? She said, no, no, I'm not even from this state. Um, she was just walking around by Wendy's. Is there anything that you can do to help her? I'm like, yes. Of course, instantly, I didn't even think about it. I said, I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna figure out what we can do to help her. Uh, first instinct is, let me take her to a shelter. And this was the exact location where we were when you guys saw Hannah super scared, freaking out at the beginning. After seeing how scared she was when we pulled up in her, her whole demeanor changed from when we met her. We started rethinking her strategy. This place was not right for her. So Kelly went and she found a place that could find out if Hannah had a chip. And thank God Hannah did have a chip. So we got super excited. We went to the address that was on file and they claimed she wasn't there. So the chip place called all the numbers on the file. Nobody picked up. So we were back at square one, had no idea where to go, but we kept her for four days because we were not going to send her into a shelter where she wouldn't be safe. Another thing that I wanted to talk about as well, guys, is they might be great people in there. We don't know. It could just be a funding thing. The city of Detroit obviously isn't the best place, so maybe we could figure out a way to get them more money so that they can help the animals that need to be helped. We don't know the situation, but Hannah was super scared. So let's try to figure it out. So all we knew is that we wanted Hannah to be in a safe place. And after trying to find her parents for four days, we were out of resources. But then we turned to you guys and we found people that would be able to adopt her. And if we should try to help more animals in there, we definitely want to help the ones that are getting ready to get euthanized. So we're going to start posting them so you guys will know and then help them get to you. If you are interested in adopting, please comment, message your information below. Let's get you your new child that you are going to love and help. So in the meantime, we had to find a place to foster her until we could get her to one of you amazing people. Which brings us here to today. She seems to like everybody. I mean, when I took her into the intake, like she didn't even know where she was going and she hops in, tail wagging. She's like, oh, hey guys. She's really friendly, which is good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, hi. Oh, it's so good. Well, I was kind of worried that she'd like not clock me because I was like, oh, maybe you're just happy because I found you and you don't want to be on the street anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we still, we still want to call. Oh, Thank you. Oh, that's so good. You can be my neck. It's so cute. 
So you guys wanted to know how Hannah was with other dogs. So we're about to find out for you. Yeah, he's driving. So we're getting their energy out so that we go inside to go meet Hannah so we can see how Hannah's does with other dogs. They're not gonna have so much energy and then maybe they'll listen. I think Hannah's gonna do great. These guys are what I'm worried about. Let's go inside. Woo. Oh wow. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> You're good. It's good. Yeah. so warm and good. So she was other dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving a little bit of sex. Yeah. She, she's a nice, respectable woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, guys, Hannah. She's doing awesome. We already knew because she's like the chillest dog ever. That's okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good girl. Look it. So we can mark Hannah's good with other dogs. <laughs> this is actually the most happy energy I've seen. <laughs> I don't so know. Good. Okay, another one coming in. Most like, yeah, we logistics. Bye. All right, guys. Obviously, there's a huge stray dog problem here in Detroit, and I want to be able to help all of them, me and Kelly together, and all of you guys. But right now, we need to focus on Hannah. Thanks to all of you guys, we have had several people here to take in Hannah, which is awesome. So go ahead and check them out here. What I want to do is have you guys look over their situations. There's a bunch of them. We started off with about 30 of them. Then we narrowed it down to nine. And now we have five people left. I want you guys to help choose the best adopter for Hannah so that she can have a loving home. So look everybody over read the messages, check out their profiles, do some research, because we want to make sure that Hannah is in a happy, safe place. Let's go get Hannah at home.